We are back at the Gigabyte Suite at Computex 2017 to look at their new X399 motherboard. Couldn't talk about this yesterday, but we're here now. So this is the Aorus Gaming 7 X399 board. We're going to run through some of the power specs, though some of it's subject to change, and then go through the PCIe specifications as well because Threadripper is brand new and has more detail as of this morning. So we are good to talk about that. Before getting to the coverage, this is brought to you by Corsair and their Vengeance RGB LED memory, which is a hand-selected ICs for overclocking potential. Learn more at the link in the description below. So for the motherboard, the X399 chipset is the brand new one for AMD's upcoming Threadripper line, which is an HEDT line of CPUs. They will be 16 core, 32 threads. And we have some information on the CPU itself on the site. But for the motherboards, this is the first major one we're looking at. We're looking at ASUS next. The power design of this particular model is currently in a six-phase state, but that's not final. We're going to eight-phase because six-phase just wasn't enough to do what Gigabyte wanted to do. So it will be eight phases eventually for the final version, and they're using 3553 IR FETs for the uh, power for the VRM, and then a 35201 controller, also IR. So International Rectifier, again, is being used pretty much everywhere for this show. We've seen them in... Uh, MSI, Gigabyte, and EVGA boards at this point. So those are the power components. It will be eight phase, and then it'll be an additional two phases per side for the memory, using also the 3553IR MOSFETs uh, for either side of the CPU socket. The CPU socket, as we say in the ASUS video coming up, is quite large, and it requires an actual tool that the motherboard manufacturers will ship. It's just a Torx screwdriver, basically. Uh, so you have to unscrew all three to get access to it. We don't have a way to get in there right now, but the pinout is LGA. Uh, so that's kind of new for consumer AMD. It's existed in server before. So LGA pinout split right down the middle for the contact between the two dies on the package, on the actual Threadripper package. Moving down to the PCIe section of the board, there are five total slots, and then we've also got three M.2 slots. The M.2 slots are driven by, by four lanes, for PCIe, and then the actual PCIe by 16 slots are 16, 8, 4, 16, and 8 on these electrical wiring. And if you look at the actual assignment to the CPU of these, the 16, the 8, the 16, and the 8 come from the CPU, the by 4 comes from the chipset, and then these uh, three M.2 slots are by 4. You end up with about 60 lanes, which is what AMD permits the board partners to supply to PCIe devices or storage devices connected via PCIe. For the other four lanes, those go to the chipset right there, and then those are doled out from the chipset used as basically a high-speed interconnect between the CPU at the socket proper and the chipset. So that takes us through there. There's no U.2 on this board right now. It's not 100% final. We're looking at a few months out, uh, but no U.2 today. There is your normal SATA stuff. Won't really need to go through the specs on that. Uh, and then your normal selection of fan headers, I.O., nothing too special in that department. Gigabyte also has their audio panel on the bottom left. So we talked about this a bit with the X299 stuff. Uh, not a whole lot to say because it's, I mean, we have no way to test it obviously right here. So I think that brings us through most of the board. Other items of note for housekeeping stuff. There's no pricing right now. We don't know the price. Stuff isn't final yet. Uh, it looks like something like an August timeline for release, August 10th sounds like. And at that point, obviously, we should know more of a price. Mass production availability sometime in August as well. Uh, so that's what we're looking at for X399, at least for the Gaming 7 board, the Aorus. And uh, other than that, more information in the article below, as always. So click that link to learn more about this board. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more. Patreon.com slash GamersNexus helps out directly. I'll see you all next time.